Well, we've been going on a journey where we've been using Microsoft Fabric to bring data into Lakehouse, write custom queries, share custom queries, display in Excel. But hey, you know what? Excel's all old school. We want to get to that new school way of accessing data, and we want to talk Power BI. Marcus, can we create or connect to those queries that we've done inside of uh, inside of Fabric in Power BI? Is that something we can do? We absolutely can, and there's a couple of different options on how we can do that. So we're going to show you that today. Awesome. Let's check it out. I'm going to head over to my desktop. And picking up from our last video, uh, we are in our Fabric screen here, our Fabric experience. I have my demo lake house pulled up with the same query that we used in our previous video showing you how to integrate with Excel. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight that query. And again, notice the options that become ungrayed out in the table view here. Um, let me highlight that again. And bring this up. Last time we picked the download Excel file option where it directly created a connection to that query in our Excel workbook. This time I'm going to select visualize results and see what we get from that. So it's going to confirm that we want to use the highlighted statement. I'm going to click continue. And Look at that. We get the Power BI online experience directly connected to that highlighted query. Wow. And that was super fast. Super fast. Get the same, again, online experience you would get with the Power BI service. So now I can start immediately dragging and dropping fields that I would like from that query and start seeing those results visually uh, on my Power BI screen. Again, I can change that visual on the fly like you'd be used to in the Power BI service. I have my formatting options. I can quickly turn on data labels, for example. Let's say I wanna pull on a, a card. I can edit those labels. I can add a slicer. Again, all the same experiences you would get with that Power BI service uh, online here. Wow, I mean, that's fantastic. So we could create like a, a world-class analytics right on top of this query, right, right out of the bat, huh? right off the bat yep directly connected in the fabric experience i can take that query immediately start producing visual results and on top of that after i'm done if i if i want to save my results and keep working on that or share that with others i can save that directly as a report here in the lower right hand corner oh wow And I could save it to the same workspace or I could put it to a different workspace uh, connected to that lake house uh, query that I just had. So I'm going to keep it in the same workspace. Save it. And see that it confirmed saving the report. If I exit out of that and go back to the workspace. And refresh my page. Look at that. I now wow. see my demo sales report. I can pull that up. And I can either use as is or I can click edit and I can continue to work on that Power BI report. This is fantastic, Marcus. Um, well, what if I wanted to work inside a Power BI desktop? So I've got like 
the full suite of options when it comes to customizing, modeling, uh, and, and you know making changes uh, to the report. Is, can I do that, or is that something that we have to wait for another time? No, not at all. They have enabled that right out the gate. Uh, wow. Microsoft has, so we're going to actually head over to Power BI Desktop uh, right after I grab the SQL Server endpoint again from my lake house. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that connection string. I'm going to head over to a new Power BI desktop window. Oh, so just like in Excel or any tool that can connect to SQL Server, I can I can do the same thing, huh? Absolutely. Hmm. So notice now with some recent updates to Power BI desktop, we have the the familiar Git data experience with the Power Query editor, and I could go in and I could select uh, a SQL Server endpoint. Also notice that they have a one lake data hub where with the new fabric experiences, you can use one of those fabric resources as a connector separated out from that get data menu. So to get to those types of connections quicker, they've created this one lake data hub option as well on the home ribbon. Oh, awesome. But I can only use that if I wanted to connect to the tables directly. I have to go through the SQL Server route if I want to write a custom query. Is that right? You nailed it, Chris. Mm. To do the custom query, just like we did in Excel, you do need to still select SQL Server, get that SQL endpoint, uh, and proceed in a similar way you did connecting in Excel. So I'm going to pick that option to stay consistent with our last experience. So I'm going to paste in SQL Server database. I'm going to type in BT Demo Lakehouse as my database here. And then in my SQL statement, I'm going to go ahead and get the SQL statement that I had run in the Fabric uh, service here and paste that into my SQL statement window. We go ahead and hit OK. And as you could see, similar results to what we had in the Fabric experience online. Seeing that here in my query preview, I'm going to hit load. Oh, and interesting. So online, the data exists inside the mesh that is Fabric that is out there. So that data was just there, so you're able to just use it. This data, because you're working in Power BI Desktop, you've got to query that server. All of that data has to be loaded in as we're seeing it come down now. So that million records has to be loaded in, and then we can build the reports from working in desktop, right? That's correct. Because we're using the SQL Server experience and using that endpoint, we have similar options to what you'd be accustomed to connecting to a SQL Server database where you can either select import or direct query. In this instance, I've selected the import option. So as you can see here, it has loaded almost the 900,000 records uh, from that query. Oh, good point. And, and as so we can that see end, here, this is not the direct like option that Microsoft is going to be rolling out that allows us to connect directly to this. This is connecting to the SQL endpoint and loading it in at the running a query, right? Exactly right. So this is, again, the ad hoc query experience with Fabric using that SQL endpoint. So just to show, let's start dragging in a couple of fields, get a few visuals. Just like we had in the service. We have our new on object uh, interaction here or editing experience. Mm -hmm. Put some data labels on that. Go back to my data. Pull in revenue. Oh, I'm still so thrilled that when you just add in a KPI, it adds in the card visual and it doesn't go to a, a, a column chart. That just 
makes me so happy now. It is really nice because uh, that's typically when you're using one aggregate field, that's that or a KPI card is probably what you're going to use. Uh, so that's nice that they've changed that to be the, the default option there. Very cool. Okay, so we've shown the, the ad hoc query experience. And what if I wanted to maybe not stick with this query and go into um, a direct lake experience uh, directly to those tables that I have in my lake house? So if I go to transform data here, I can actually uh, delete this query. I'm going to do close and apply. It's going to blow away that query that I had just put in. I'm going to go ahead and delete those visuals. And then I'm going to go to the one lake hub. I'm going to select lake houses here as my option. And I'm then going to select that BT demo lake house uh, resource here. Before I hit connect, notice the two options if I hit the down arrow on the connect. I either get the connect, which brings in all the tables included in my lake house in that direct lake connection. Or if I connect to a SQL endpoint, that also allows me to select any database objects, uh, either tables or views that I would have in that lake house. Uh, so when you connect, you're connecting to the default data set that you know we can build and manage over there, and when or the SQL endpoint, so you can connect and build your own model got it exactly that makes sense so i get a ton of flexibility with either bringing in everything from that default data set or as chris mentioned i can customize what i'm bringing in uh through the sql endpoint option wow marcus this is incredible just all the different ways to access and use this data that's inside fabric it's it's going to fit into any pattern that I'm currently using today, and I just kind of get to pick and choose which one works best for me in my situation. How wonderful. It's pretty incredible. Uh, well, Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time to run us through uh, you know, the different options to access this data from Lakehouse, bringing into Power BI, either the Power BI service or Power BI desktop to build our own custom reports, to, to share analytics. Just what a wonderful integrated solution. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, and thank you guys for watching today. You guys have a great day.